Christ, what the hell? TikTok doesn't like me today. All right, what's next? Let me get my shrimp in a plate. Actually, I like to use a sheet pan. I don't know, guys. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here. Hi from Naples, how cool. I wish I could feed everybody, I really do, because everyone's like, I wish I could try your food. I wish you could try my food too. I love feeding people. I'm gonna put my air conditioner on. All right, let's cook, guys, all right? Albuquerque, how freaking cool is that? Hi from New Jersey. <coughs> My kids don't like pesto, so I'm gonna give her. Carbone actually sent me some of these sauces. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on uh, Serafina's pasta because she loves red sauce, my kid, loves it. All right, let me get a, let me get on my shrimp. Let me get on start assembling guys okay we need some breadcrumb and we need some grated cheese i know that's probably an unpopular opinion to put cheese on fish my family always did it i don't know my family's from sicily i don't know if that makes a difference i mean i was born in america so was my mother my grandmother and my grandpa were born there but they i mean my grandpa didn't really speak a ton of english but i was young with him but my grandma was like you wouldn't even know she she was like she was you know born in america I bought, I buy Costco shrimp and you know what, not for nothing. Um, Aldi has a big shrimp that me and my husband had. Remember I made that mango pineapple like uh, salsa thing? That shrimp was delicious and that was from Aldi. I'm putting like a quarter cup of grated cheese, like that much. You know what else I heard about Trader Joe? Someone on here tagged me, of course, Luca Telly. Someone on here tagged me um, in a video where that wonderful brand pistachios are the Trader Joe, it's actually the Trader Joe brands. And the pistachios at Trader Joe are like half the price. All right, so I'm going to put equal amount grated cheese and breadcrumb. I'm making shrimp oregano, easier than chicken cutlets. Because you know what? I do love a good chicken cutlet, but I don't enjoy cooking them. I don't. They're a bitch to make, and they're annoying. And I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here, but I'm also going to put some olive oil in the shrimp itself, so not much. Also, I love this Costco organic oil, but I hate the container. You know, I should buy myself a little oil drizzle off, right? I don't know why I don't have one of those, actually. I am celebrating Mother's Day. I don't know. We don't have, like, crazy plans. I'm going to hang out with my family next weekend because my crew is in Queens, and I am a mom, too. I don't want to travel on the holiday. I don't want to sit in traffic, driving to Queens, coming home from Queens. I want to just chill. You know what I want to do? I want to work in my garden. So I really hope the weather's nice. Um, this is parsley, breadcrumb, grated cheese, fresh garlic, lemon juice, salt, and cr uh, fresh cracked pepper. So this is what we're going to put on top of our shrimp. I'm going to get a baking dish for our shrimp. stack everything on top of each other. Thanks for sharing it, guys. That's so nice. 
Okay, so I have shrimp here. This is the Costco shrimp. I can actually show you the bag because I still have the bag. Just taking the paper towel off of it. I have it sitting in paper towel to get like some of the moisture. I'm just wash my hands. Flowers tonight. I thought that was nice. Flowers came to the door, right? And he he like brought he like brings them in, and he's like, "Oh, what are these?" I was like, "Oh, no, it's probably for my mother and my sister." He goes, "Or your husband?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh yeah." I will see you when you get home. Leah is live. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I will be uploading to YouTube for sure, for sure. Okay, so we have our shrimp. Let me show you what the bag from Costco looks like. This is the size that they are, and I actually really enjoy this size, especially for oregano. I feel like oregano, so there's different sizes for different purposes. Like those little shrimps I told you that were good from Aldi, those are good for like that salsa that I made, you know? But for oregano, you want nice chunky shrimp. Okay, so on the shrimp itself, I'm gonna season that as well. Yeah, my YouTube is exactly the same. I am trying to get past like a, a few crazy weeks and then I'm gonna start uploading longer vlogs on YouTube and I'm also gonna do longer cooking videos. So whatever I'm posting on TikTok, um, I'll just do like a longer version on YouTube. You just got home from where, Ma? So on the shrimp, I'm gonna put probably like a, you know, about that much of white wine. Let's actually taste this. Have you guys ever had this? Bread and butter. Fridays with Leah. Yes, I love that. Let's taste this. Have you ever had this? I'm going to smell it like I know what I'm doing. You ready? I don't know. I feel like it all smells the same to me. <laughs> Oh, she, she, she loves bread and butter. So it, listen, I trust you, girl. Delicious. It's good. All right. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Because I like my white wine cold, cold. I like my white wine, like, freezing. Okay, so I put wine in here. I'm going to put some olive oil. Salt. Papa. Yeah, white wine. I mean, that'll be gone by this weekend. Probably tomorrow. I'll have a glass. Tonight, I'm drinking dirty martinis for sure. I usually have like two, two drinks. Just because I, you know, I use two shots per drink. You guys been with me long enough. I don't make no wussy drinks. I'm making shrimp oregano. And homemade pesto. You didn't really miss much yet. I have um, stuffing with um, breadcrumb, parsley, grated cheese, salt, pepper, lemon juice. And then this is shrimp that I have just olive oil with um, white wine, salt, and pepper. Do I have a spoon there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna just mix this together. And then you kinda wanna put them in like a flat layer. So you wanna have a little bit of moisture at the bottom. That's to poach the shrimp nicely, you know, the, so, so the shrimp don't get dry. Um, but you don't want them to be sitting in a ton of moisture that the top can't get crispy, okay? There's a technique to it. I'm gonna use my hands for this because I can't use this breakfast spoon. I try to keep it nice on live, you know? But to tell you the truth, I'm really just a savage. And my grandmother used her hands for everything. If I tell you, she used the shittiest knife in the kitchen. It was like this big. And it was like the dullest thing in the world. How she got anything cut is beyond me. Beyond me. She would hold it in her hand and cut like this. And I'm like, how is that even possible? It was so dull. Like, ridiculously dull. Like, almost dangerously dull. They're crazy, I tell you. 
people are reading me in. It's okay because I'm I, I can't keep up with the comments, so I don't even see it. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so now this stuffing you're gonna do equally on top. We're making shrimp oregano and um, what else are we making? Fresh pesto. So I just sprinkle it on top loosely, you know, you don't want it to be packed. And they'll just get like little crispy bits on top. And then the stuff that hits the, you know, sauce at the bottom will turn into like a thick little, you know, it makes like a little pan sauce. Very good. My husband loves shrimp. Like I can make shrimp anyway. And he's a happy camper. Just looks really nice too. And it's, e it's easy. So if you have people coming over, so easy. You could also do it with like any type of fish. I do it. I'll make this same stuffing and I, I'll, I'll stuff like a, like a white fish, like, um, what is it? Flounder. I'll stuff like, like flounder with the stuff and roll it. And then you cook it sitting up, like standing up. And that's really good too. You could use that stuffing for a lot of things. All right, guys, I'm giving you all my secrets, y'all. Yeah. I'm sharing all my secrets. Can you believe me? I wonder if my hubby's on here. Is my hubby on here? I'm making shrimp oregano and I'm making fresh pesto. So I'm gonna put the shrimp in the oven. I'm actually gonna wait a little bit to put it in the oven because it's gonna take so quick. Um, let me get the pesto going and then I'll put it in. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on top. That's just to get it a little crispier. I'm waiting for my oven to reach camp. Let's put together our pesto. <laughs> shrimp oregano is like a baked shrimp with like a crispy breadcrumb topping. The stuffing is breadcrumb, grated cheese, parsley, uh, a whole lemon juiced, salt, pepper, that's it. Oh, and fresh, fresh garlic chopped very small. And then the shrimp, you put olive oil and um, white wine on it. But I'm gonna put the live on my YouTube, so you could always just watch it on there. Cause I know a lot of people miss it. It's, 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 it's hard, it's hard. Thanks guys, I like my eyebrows too, but I don't think I, I would get them laminated again. Mainly because I like when they, they tint them and they like nice and soft. I feel like the laminate, the laminating, or whatever the frig it's called, makes them like like hard. Like they have hairspray on them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I love them, and I love the girl that that does my eyebrows. I love them, but I'm like a texture thing. Like, after a while, if I have makeup on my face, sometimes I'll just get this urge, like, that I need to wash it off. Like, I feel like my skin is crawling. I have to wash the makeup off my face. Like, that's why I can't have eyelashes. I can't do fake fake eyelashes because they're just so uncomfortable for me. And that's how I feel about these. I'm like, I, I feel them a little crunchy. <laughs> I put the castor oil, but I put castor oil on them anyway. And they're not, like... Like they're, 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 they're still soft. You know what I mean? They're not like bad. You can see they like move and stuff. I'm just being dramatic because I like them just like tinted with like a nice soft fluff. You know what I mean? But I do love them. So I'm not even talking shit. Guys, those blue cheese olives are delicious. Listen, I've loved myself with the lash, with the lash extensions, but I, I just can't. I'm, I need to like sleep with my face down in the pillow. I can't like. There's just too many rules with them. I can't take shots, girl. I have two shots in each of these martinis, and I have kids, yeah. <laughs> if we're out, like, hanging out, I'll take a shot with you for sure. All right. Let's make pesto. So I have just a shit ton of pesto. It's like two cups, two and a half cups. All washed already. This is basil, not pesto. Basil, fresh basil. Basil, yes, basil. See, you got me. You know what it is. 
I'm gonna just put this on for like one second just to get it a little broken down. You don't wanna like get it pulsed yet, just like a little broken down so I can fit some more shit in here. I do grow basil, but it's not like ready here in New Jersey to have an abundance like this. In the middle of the summer when it's nice and humid, I'll have a ton. But right now, I don't know what the hell's happening because it's nice today and I was so excited for the weekend, but then my husband was like, it's actually supposed to be shitty, so okay. Okay. I guess I'll just enjoy it inside. <laughs> All right, you just wanted to like break it down a little bit, you know? Hi, baby girl. You got your face mask on? You taking a nap? What, baby? My kid's very heavy into arts and crafts, so she has just buckets of markers, um, pastels, is that what they're called? Those oily things, those oily shit that make a mess everywhere, and I see the pastel fingerprints all over my house. She's, you know, I, I can't even get mad, you know? She loves it, so whatever. How do I come up? This is shit that I grew up with. This is shit I grew up eating. Honestly, this breadcrumb, costly, grated cheese stuffing mixture, my mother put this shit on everything. Like, this is what she breads her chicken collets in. I, I don't know. It's like you could do so many things. If you know, like, a few techniques, you could do so many things. Oh, my God. Mother's... No, she 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 wants the color that Mother's Day card the morning of Mother's Day. She's very serious about that. So it's still sitting in my drawer. But she did come home with a really sweet, like they made like a little booklet in school and they asked her questions and they were so cute. Like one of the questions was, what does your mom love to do? And she was like, my mom loves to cook. Something was, what does your mom love to eat? My mom loves to eat sushi. Um, just cute, you know? I'm gonna like keep that to myself, like the whole booklet, or, or else I would, you know, show it with you guys, but it was very sweet. Um, what's yellow? I guess the lemon. Oh, olive oil, the olive oil. All right, so I'm gonna put some garlic in here. Oh my God, the reunion trailers, stop, I'm dead. I'm dead, I, I can't wait. I literally can't wait. And I don't get like that with shows, but that is some drama. I'm putting like four or five cloves of garlic in here. We like it very garlicky, um, but you do you. I may even put a little more than five. I'm just cutting it a little bit to just help the food processor. So this is like usually two cups of basil and then I do three fourths cup, you know, and this is all eyeballed. You guys know I'm not measuring shit, of grated cheese. I put a little bit of lemon juice, some pine nuts. Um, what else do I put? Olive oil, obviously. And honestly, that's really it. That's why I love pesto. It's just like, I feel like when something has such little ingredients, it's always so much better. Why is that? Like less really is more, especially when it comes to food. Okay. So like I said, I'm gonna put about a three fourths cup of grated cheese and the olive oil, I'm gonna kind of just like stream in as I blend it. I'm gonna put a little bit in there to start it. And then once I start seeing the consistency, I'll stream it in. All right, I'm gonna put my shrimp in the oven. So we're gonna start it on 10 minutes. I'm gonna raise my, so I had it on 425. I'm gonna raise it to 450 now and cook this for 10 minutes. And then we'll see what it looks like at 10. Gonna make a pound of macaroni, but like I said, I'm gonna put some aside for Fina. So remind me, cause you know, sometimes I forget when I'm on here with you guys, I'm bullshitting and then I skip a step. I don't realize it later. These blue cheese olives, guys. So good. Okay, let's put some lemon juice. My plan for Mother's Day is I would really love to work in my garden. Like, that's what I want to do. I would love to get my vegetables in the, in the ground. Um, but if the weather isn't permitted, I just want to lay in my bed. Like, I literally just want to lay in my bed. 
I want no fancy shit. I want to just lay in my bed and watch like tr the trashiest of the trash, order shitty takeout, and just chill. Just because I do enjoy time like that and I never get that anymore. You know what I mean? Like with my kids, I can never be that type of person. Not, not never, because obviously there's days where we have down days, you know? But sometimes I feel guilty if I'm not like doing something for them. And they, that, that just be like, that might just be like my own thing. Um, so I want to just a day to not feel guilty to do shit. I want to do nothing and not feel guilty about it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it's like something so stupid to feel guilty about because my kids like would be happy with freaking the silliest thing. But that's just like my own thing, you know? What is happening? Who are we muting? Listen, and if you're a parent that wants to spend time with your kids on Mother's Day, obviously I'm going to spend time with my kids. I mean, what do you think I'm going to do? Lock myself in my room all day? It's not possible. You know, you have kids. It just doesn't work that way. Um, I mean, unless your husband gets you like a hotel room away. I mean, go him if he does that. Let me tell you. But... You know, I'm, my, 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 my kids are going to be there. But a few hours, that's okay. I'm with them 24-7. And anyone who makes anybody feel, feel guilty about either or, like wanting to spend time or not wanting to, must not have kids. Your kids the great adventure? That sounds like torture. That doesn't sound like a Mother's Day gift. <laughs> that's hysterical. You might as well just take them to the zoo on like a 95 degree day also. We should do that also. <laughs> that is so freaking funny, man. Okay, I am gonna put some pinoli nuts. I don't know what brand this is, guys. I don't know. It's all the store had. I'll taste one for you though, make sure it's good. Just in case, you know? Too late to talk about it. I think it's time for another drink. What do you think? Bazzini. See, you're probably not even saying that right. You have seven kids. Your husband should plan you a year vacation. Are you are you kidding me? You your husband should plan you a year vacation. Mm, they're nice and fresh. Way to go, Bazzini. Good shit. I love this. Like, I feel like you can't skip this stat. You can replace with walnuts, but it's not the same. You can't skip this stat. You can't. Not only for taste, but for texture. It gives you, like, creamy. The, the, the creamy grit that you need, you know? I like a lot of them. I put, like, that's probably a decent amount. It's just so pretty, you know? The thing is, when I'm on live, I can't film for content, but I'll sacrifice you guys because I love you people, okay? I really do. No, you need the pinolis. You do. The pesto, I'm going to put on pasta, but you could put it on... You could have grilled shrimp and put the pesto on the shrimp. You could do it with spaghetti squash. I'm doing pasta. I'm doing thin spaghetti. My oregano is in the oven, and I have... Oh, I didn't put my timer. I'm going to set it for seven minutes because it's been in there for about three. All right, let's pulse away. Let me put a little smidge of olive oil. I grew up with food like this, yes. What's that, babe? A what? How did it get down there? My husband has a bee in his hand and he's putting it outside. He's not killing it. He's going to set it free. He's going to set the bee free. <laughs> Ooh, the filthy martini's here, babe, but it's already done. We need to make another one. Yeah, I love fresh pesto, guys, so much. Okay, let's blend it. Did you did you save him? He's gone. He's gone. Okay, good. All right, let's let's make some pesto, guys. Babe, these, these pinolis are so fresh. The pinolis are really fresh. 
the pinions. All right, this is my food processor. I have told you guys the story about this food processor. Babe, how long have we had this food processor? Yes. Since before we moved in this house, I have had this food processor. I think my so was one of the parents or somebody bought this to us as a housewoman in the apartment. Yeah. Oh. So it's gotta be at least eight years old. And I love it. I'm making pesto, okay? You're right, it's gonna be a little loud. So if you don't like loud noises, Back it up. put it a little lower. Volume check. <laughs> oh, I need my olive oil. I got a stream, I got a stream. This, I bought, um, so in my yard, I usually just buy like basil periodically and I keep adding it to the pot. And then by like August, I have like a bush and that's what I love. Okay, I'm gonna do a little stream in here. I'd say in the long run, I use about a half a cup. Now I'm gonna scrape. Scrapey, scrapey. Yeah, this, and this, this food processor, it's a KitchenAid from, this isn't anything fancy, but it's good, it does the job. What, what, do you need to, what do you need to buy a new one for? It's perfect. It's gray. It matches my kitchen. How many do I need? And I do use it a lot, too. I use this even in my catering days. I used to grade my cheese in here. Oh, I need to put some salt in here. Let me taste it. There's definitely enough olive oil. I just want to blend it a little more to make it a little creamier. Mm. A little lemon bite. Love that. All right, let me put some black pepper and salt. So I don't cook pesto, I just make pasta, and then I put the pesto on the hot pasta. I don't think anybody cooks it. I mean, do you? I don't know. I don't. From Scotland, that's so freaking cool. What time is it there? I'm happy you're catching my live too, babe. Okay, Google, volume four. Also, if your shrimp are done and you don't like the, like the color of the top, you could just broil them for a few minutes. Broil them for like a minute. I like to add a little extra of the, of the pine nuts because it makes it a little creamy, like without the dairy, you know what I mean? What time is it in Sweden? Perfect. Um, I'm gonna turn my water off. My gray shirt is from Target. They're eight dollars right now. I actually need to go back and get them in every color because I like it also. Oh, rainy day, smell the you and skies are great. Look at the texture. It's beautiful. That is so good. That is like so good. It's just the rain days. Thanks for the roses. You need to make pesto. Everybody needs to make pesto. Let me tell you something. I'm not hating that 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 jaw pesto shit. I keep that in for like if you know company come over, you can make a quick, um, like a quick crostini. You can you, you can do a lot of things with that. But if you're eating like pesto as as a main dish, and that's like your pasta for the night, make that shit homemade. It's probably cheaper than buying like a good jar of it. Actually, maybe not because the basil isn't. It's like. I think I bought four plants. They were like three bucks a plant, but they, they were nice plants. And you know what? I'm going to show you. So I bought four of these. There's another two over there, obviously. Um, but I'm going to keep them. I'm going to water them and take care of them. Give them TLC. Okay. And come back in a month. There'll be a basil bush. TLC. Because for some reason, I can't keep plants inside alive, but outside, they thrive. 
I think it's because my kids are out there playing, so like, you know, I have time to be out there a lot. My, my Serafina keeps me outside all day in the summer. Like, I have to bribe her to get her in. The Ordinary, yes, I've been using The Ordinary. It's only been like three days, so I don't know if I could really, you know, give you like a fully, if it's, you know, working or not. I don't want to tell you, oh, it's great, and I've been using it for 24 hours. You know what I mean? I love the color of this, guys. Now we are free. Free to be whatever I feel. Feel something real, real. Does anybody know what this song is? Oh my god, drink number two. Faux show. Faux show. Guys, my shrimp's about to go off. Look at that. Look at that. Let's check it. And then I'm going to probably just put it on the boiler for a few seconds. Let me just get rid of this shit. Where's my thing? Thank you. Honestly, I'm I'm not even gonna broil it. I I am happy with this color. And as it sits, it's gonna cook more. But I mean, come on guys. You see how like the little moisture that was down there, it like created a little sauce. Like, does that not look freaking delicious? Screenshot me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I mean it looks great, guys. Seriously. I don't know. I love creating pretty food too. Like you really do eat with your eyes first. All right, I got my pasta on, my shrimp's done. So I think it's time to make a drink. What do you think? What do you think? I'm gonna chill my cup. Necessity, guys. It just makes it that much better. Maybe the fact is, I just put a little ice. I mean, I guess you could put it in the freezer, right? We got time for that. Um, guys, I'll definitely post the recipe. I'm gonna post this whole live on YouTube for sure. So I'm gonna put one shot of vermouth. This is the dry, extra dry. I don't know what the frick the difference is, honestly. This is just the one my husband bought, so. Like he bought previously, so I like thought it was the right one, you know? And they don't really have a lot of brands of this. Like it's this and one other one. What, what, what is this? Is, is this wine? I have, um, I am making pasta instead of like bread and stuff to dip in the shrimp. So I, we're gonna just serve the shrimp on the pesto so it's all just gonna like come together. Sounds so good, right? <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. Keep in the fridge. Ooh, interesting. I have never kept it in the fridge. I do not have soda water. I've never kept it in the fridge and I just opened a new bottle. So, okay, good to spot off on the right foot. Why do I keep it in the fridge? Yeah, I have the red sauce. I'm not gonna warm that up or anything. This is the, um, I'm gonna just put it right on the hot pasta. I never had it, but I have been to the restaurant and the restaurant is delicious, so I'm sure it's good. They sent me that, they sent me a little wooden spoon. I thought that was sweet. And at least that, that's like useful for me. Thank you guys. Yeah, I don't know, I keep it in my bar. I guess that's not the right thing to do. Um, I flip flop between Tito's and Grey Goose. I feel like it's, it's the same price. Honestly, I just love the Grey Goose bottle. 
<laughs> They're both great to me. I do keep my alcohol in the freezer, but sometimes it just takes up too much space. I do like it in the freezer though. You are, you are right, 117%. I like to do two shots Oop. of the of the olive juice. <laughs> the olive wants to bounce. The olive is like, get me out of here. Thank you. Where the frick is the kava? All right, let's shaky shaky bakey. Soda, water, and ice. Interesting. This is my fancy cocktail shake, but you like it? Thank God I dodged the bullet. I feel like if you're going through a breakup, you need to hear the song. Like, this is the song that you ugly cry to. Like, you ugly cry, sing this song. You know what I mean? Top of your lungs. I'm in a fully committed happy marriage and I'm singing this at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Cause it sucks to be you right now, guys. The shitty people, it sucks. Oh, I'm a little ice cube down there, but that's all right. <laughs> That's sad. I hope you're feeling better now. Favorite Jersey Beach? We love um, Long Branch. Mainly because it's like a little quieter. I just had like three olives. So I'm just going to put two in here. I know it's like illegal. You should do three. But a lot of salt. A lot of sodium. Thank God I dodged a bullet. Blue cheese olives. Those are from ShopRite actually. And they're very good. You know, you've definitely seen this brand, Mazetta. They're all over. I haven't got, I get my, oh, fuck, what a waste. I get my arbors on once a month. Once a month. You know what I'm gonna buy myself? A, a portable island. Um, because I just, I need more counter space, you know, and we're not buying a new house for a few years. So I'm going to do little upgrades that would make me feel more comfortable, you know, and honestly, I'm okay, but I feel like little things will help me. Like if I get like a, like a, like a portable Island that I could just put in the corner, I could also store all of my appliances on it. Like make it like an appliance cart, um, and give me more counter space. You know what I mean? All right, let's put our pasta in. I'm gonna salt the water. Sucks to be you right now. Yeah, Ikea. Oh, yeah, I should look there too, actually. I forgot about Ikea. I have to check out today because I feel like if you're making a fresh pot, if you're making a fresh pesto, you gotta get the best pasta. You know? The best box pasta, at least. But sometimes I just like how the, the I like how the DiCecco cooks better. Like, and you see, I use whatever brand. I'm, I'm really not a, like, brand snob when it comes to shit. But for certain dishes, like when I make the pasta con, uh, the pasta con uh, Saudi, I always buy the Anna brand, the Long Fusilli. It's A-N-N-A. Uh, you know, certain things, certain things. But I, I usually keep whatever is on sale. Let's, let's be real. But sometimes you splurge. You know what I mean? Okay, Google. Next song. I'm just straightening up. Let me show you what my pesto looks like. Are you sending me the Italian horn? Because I love that. Here's my pesto. 
Like that's a beaut. Okay, Google. Next song. Trader Joe's response to me. What do you think? Okay, Google. Next song. The pesto is beautiful. Like I want to take a bath in that pesto. Okay, I'm gonna put this whole box of pasta. I'm also gonna cover my shrimp. I actually really like this one. I just feel like that the checo even feels different. Like it has a little semolina on it. This is the thin spaghetti. I also like thin spaghetti for pesto. I would prefer angel hair. For some reason, they didn't have angel hair. I need a bigger pasta pot, as you can tell. As you can tell. I have bigger ones, but I keep them in the basement. And then, like, when I make the pasta, I'm like, oh, fuck it. It'll just give it an extra minute. There must be something in the water. It was boiling. It stops boiling when you put the pasta in. It's obviously going to stop boiling because it's bringing down the temperature of the water. I've had this pot on since I went live. How long have I been on live? 40 minutes? <laughs> I don't put oil in my, in my water now. I have tried pesto. There is cheese in my pesto. I love vermicelli if I'm making like a Asian inspired thing. I don't know if I would like that with pesto. Thanks for the wooden spoon, Carbone. The olive juice just gives it like a nice salty brine. I salt my pasta water, yes. I won't forget pe uh, penis pasta. See, the water's boiling again already. I really thought the weather was gonna be nice this weekend, but I guess that's not happening. I'm gonna put foil over my shrimp. This pot, I don't even know. Six, I don't know. I have no idea, my mother gave me this pot too. She gave me like all my pots, honestly. Yeah, the pool looks really good, but I don't know what we open it for, so we could all just stare at it. You know? Because it's, it's not, it's still cold. But my husband's out of his mind. He's crazy locomoco, I tell ya. Carlos, is that the bakery? The, like, cake boss guy? Is that what we're talking about? I think Tito's is, uh, I mean, Tito's is very low. Vodka in general is very low in like calories and, and carbs are very low also. Thank you. I found a, um, someone who I really like that does my eyebrows. Okay, Google. Volume three. I need to move to Manalapan. How's the school district? I am in Jersey now. I am drinking uh, Dirty Martini. My pool, so... It goes deep, like as you walk t down, it gets deeper. So like this side of it is like three to four feet. And then if you walk all the way down to the other end, it's it's like over my head. So it's, it's, it's like gotta be like six feet. You guys will see more of my pool in the summer. Um, but it's just chilling right now. It's like, I, I have half of a deck around it. Um, so like half in ground half not my husband says it's a semi can i swim sure <laughs> are pools in jersey common i honestly don't know i'm not really a jersey girl honestly we weren't buying a house because of the pool we just looked at a lot of houses in this neighborhood because it was you know was what we could afford at the time and we liked the neighborhood um, I actually don't love the school district I'm in. I'm not in the East Brunswick School District. So we have my daughter in uh, Catholic school. We put my daughter in Catholic because of that. Um, but we just we just looked at this house and we didn't even know there was a pool at the time. And me and my husband were like, 
it just like worked out. Like we saw the owners too. The owner like has, I, I, I have a fig tree in my yard from the old owner's grandpa. Like it just was like meant for me to be here. Like this was the house I needed at the time. You know what I mean? Like I was going through a lot at the time. I was still dealing with a lot of postpartum and me and my husband just like were looking for so long for a house, like over a year. We kept looking and bidding and people were just outbidding us. And this was pre-COVID. This was pre-COVID. I mean, we were just doing it, you know? We were just doing it. My husband does all that maintenance. He does the garden in it. Well, I do my little garden, but he does like, you know, the lawn and shit and the pool. That's his thing. That's like his little hobby. He enjoys it. That's his hour away too. You know what I mean? Honestly, the tuition is just, it's, it's probably less than what I would pay if I was to move to a different school district. Um, right now at this time, I... I'm not even trying to move because I don't want to settle on my next home. Like I want my next home to be my forever home. Um, and right now the market is like trash. So I'm not like overpaying for shit. I'm going to just wait a few years. Yes, I do get Botox. And I also have lip filler because people are just bothering me about it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not ashamed that I get lip filler or that I get Botox. So I, I never want, I, I never wanted to come off like that either. I just am like, People feel entitled to like know things about my life because I have a presence on the internet. And like, that's not okay either. You know what I mean? But yes, I get Botox and I get filler. And I will literally keep getting it. Botox, I started like two years ago. I'm 34. So I started Botox like 32. I will never not get Botox. If you see what my forehead looks like, I have such a wrinkle here. You could actually see, you see this indent right here? That's usually like a deep ass wrinkle. And I, I don't go, like I go like every six, I go twice a year. And also it makes me feel better. So yeah. <laughs> uh, so when I get my Botox, he does here, all this. He does my eye line. Uh, he like pulls me up a little bit here and that's it. I just, I really just do my forehead and I do my lips and it makes me feel good. I love it. I look forward to those appointments. Like mother's day, this is the thing, mother's day. And usually like, when do I go? Usually like around October, November mother's day. My husband knows don't buy me shit. Cause I'm going to spend money on myself. So whatever you're going to buy me is not going to be what I'm going to buy myself. <laughs> Just don't buy it and then let me just spend a couple of bucks. You know, not, not, not let me, but don't be alarmed when you see the spending. I will Botox anything I possibly can too. I totally agree. <laughs> I grew up in, okay, so I grew up in Howard Beach, which was not the hood, but I was surrounded by like Linden Boulevard and, you know, East New York. And I felt like I was, a little hood growing up so I used to hang out in like neighborhoods where I probably shouldn't be hanging out but I made a lot of cool friends along the way Botox is actually pretty affordable fillers is expensive I'm gonna just try the pasta I'm gonna show you how my Nona used to try pasta okay so this is how she would check if the pasta was cooked I think I might have showed it on here actually so she would just put a little grated cheese I also used to date somebody that was in Williamsburg and that was like a, not a, that was a crazy part of my life. You just put a little bit of the pasta. I can already tell this isn't dumb. I'm going to post a video of my nails eventually. Can't forget my daughter's red sauce. Don't forget peanut sauce. Locatelli, uh, Locatelli is the only one. And you know, this shit was $16 I paid. My food staples, Locatelli. <laughs> Another two minutes. So I miss Howard Beach. So I'm happy I grew up in Howard Beach. I made a lot of friends that I still talk to to this day. Not really that much do I still talk to, but I still have a handful of like friends that will always be there, you know? Um, but I don't miss Howard Beach, no. 
I did not feel like I fit. I didn't, I never felt like I fit in, in that area. And I was like, always felt like I had to keep up and like try to fit in with like crews that I didn't fit in with. Now, obviously I'm at the age where I don't give a shit, but when you're growing up and you're trying to like find your place in the world and the people surrounding you are like not your people, that's how I felt. And that was why I got my license. My mother put me in drive his ad. I got my license. I think I was like six, like back in the day, you, you could be like 16 and a half and drive with like a junior's license. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was like whipping. First of all, I was stealing my mother's car. She didn't even know. But I was just leaving. I was driving anywhere that wasn't Howard Beach because I found friends in other neighborhoods that like treated me nice. Like treating me the way friends should, should, you know, treat you. So I was just like out, you know? The day, the day I got that paper, I was like, see ya. Do I play sports? <laughs> what sport do I play? I used to play handball. Is that considered a sport? <laughs> My high chair is, I believe the brand is Abby. I have it in my um, Amazon storefront, the exact one, and I totally recommend it. I actually had this same high chair with, with Serafina. I just bought like replacement parts for it for Mariella because it also turns into a chair that you could like put at the table. <laughs> Set up the whole thing, a meet and greet. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun. Where would we even do it? I have a sister, yes. I have an older sister. Have a TikTok pool party. Are you guys crazy? I can't invite people to my home. I, I, I love you all so much, but as like a human being in the world, you know that, you, like, you know that's not possible. As much as I would want you guys to. All right, I think I'm gonna give it like another 30 seconds. The pork store. <laughs> no, I would definitely wanna like meet up and have like a few drinks and, and you know, eat. Cause that's what I enjoy doing. So that's what we would need to do. Look, my mom, a bar. Of course my mom says a bar. Hi from Hawaii, how cool. I have the finished product of the artichoke in one of my Easter videos. So the video that I posted around Easter, which is in my Let's Cook playlist, um, the artichoke finished, like what it, what it looks like when it's done is in there. There's like a clip of it in there. I'm gonna strain my pasta. <laughs> Oh, beach party. That's cool too. We'll just drink like tiki teas. <laughs> but that's, that's like a, that's honestly a far drive for me. That's like a 40 minute drive. I'm not that close to the beach. All right, let me take out some pasta from my Serafina. Okay, Google. Next song. I'm gonna just pour this right over, guys. This this jar sauce, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. It looks very good. It's chunky. It has oil on top. Delicious. I would I would buy that shit. No problem. Sign me up. It's probably like eleven dollars a jar. And you know what? If you don't feel like making sauce, it's probably worth it. Or if you're not good at it, you know, why not just spend the $11 and have good? Like, it looks delicious. All right, let's cover this with foil. All right, 
want is for you to be mine. All right, I have my pesto. I'm gonna just do a little bit at a time because I could save if there's any left over. I don't think Vincent's and Howard Beach is open anymore. That's been closed for a while. I used to love Vincent's, but that's been closed for a very long time. Let me just come together. Let me just wipe the sauce off this. Can you guys see? Let me take it down a little bit. I am from Queens, New York. I currently live in New Jersey, um, but I grew up in Howard Beach. You don't even know what this smells like. It smells so good. Yeah, you don't have to ask to DM me. You could, you could DM me. Look how beautiful that looks. I mean, come on, it's beautiful. I, I live in New Jersey, so it's, it's, it's gonna have to be like by like around New Brunswick East. New, actually, New Brunswick has great restaurants. Like around New Brunswick, East Brunswick, or um, Edison area, which there's also great soup dumpling places over there. So that's also a great idea. I'm gonna put a little more, and this is I'm gonna save this just in like a mason jar. Just close it up, and I would use it within three days, just because it has the raw garlic in it too. This looks so, so good. All right, there we go. I made pesto. I made a quick marinara from the jaw for Serafina. Oreganata, look at this. Beautiful. Let me call my crew. Are we hungry? Come eat. Come eat. I'm gonna take a bite with you guys, of course, but you know I'm gonna hop off and eat dinner with my crew, um, but I, I'm gonna take a bite with you. Let's take a little bite of the pasta. I'll do a mukbang too, I'll post the mukbang. This pesto, guys, I honestly, 10 out of 10 recommends, okay? Pesto is delicious. Cheers. Perfectly cooked pasta. So good. It's like light from the lemon, the fresh basil, delicious. I'm gonna taste a piece of the shrimp with you. And then we'll hop off. But thanks for hanging with me guys. My husband got the babies. Let's take a piece of shrimp. I'll make sure I get some stuffing on here. Hi baby girl. Mommy made the shrimp that you like. What did you make? Look at the shrimp. Good. Look at the color. She only likes it if it's pink. Obviously, it's always pink when it's cooked, but okay. Pink and at me. Perfect. Do we want a pizza rabbit, Mama? Sure, baby. Dad, this. Mama. Take a bite. I love your fit. Triangle. I love your fit. All right, guys. I love you all. Thank you for hanging. I'm going to go have a family dinner with my crew. I will record a little mukbang, okay? I will Aww. post it to my YouTube if you don't have any of the measurements, the but I'll post it. Probably, like, within a few days, okay? If I don't talk to anybody, I hope you have a great Mother's Day. And you know what? If you don't know what to make, make the fresh pesto. Make the shrimp oreganata. And let me know because I'm curious. All right. I love you all. My kids are hungry. They're turning into pumpkins. Uh, Say. You didn't, want, you didn't make the right spaghetti. I wanted uh, I didn't make the right spaghetti. No. I didn't make the right spaghetti. Oh, yeah. That's for you guys. Yes. Oh, thank you. See? I'll bring that. See? I don't lie. Love you.